Greetings and salutations. My name is Michael Schwann, and today we are checking out The Lord of the Rings Gollum. Now, a game that should have been a lot more hype than it has ultimately become. This game releases on May 25th, and boy howdy, is it just getting dragged through the mud. Uh, we'll, we'll take a look at it before we talk about some of the reasons that it's getting dragged. We're going to go back to the official teaser trailer from August of 2020 and work our way to today. So, we'll just start there. It's all very cinematic. My precious. That is correct, Toko. It is all about Gollum. Okay, so let's go first now into... This is from one year ago. Well, a little over a year ago. December 9th, 2021. For the Untold Story reveal trailer. Let me make sure that I'm... Uh, these are actually backwards. July 7th, March 9th. April 25th. Okay, here's a gameplay overview trailer from July of 2021. Hey, I'm Harold Riegler, producer at The Delic Entertainment, and today I'm happy to reveal some exciting details about our upcoming game, The Lord of the Rings, Gollum. Oh, quiet. This Gollum game has, has always, always looked rough. While being completely essential to the story written by J.R.R. Tolkien, Gollum's long chase for his precious ring has never been told in detail. Yet his incredible journey from Mordor through Mirkwood to the Mines of Moria takes players to places they haven't seen like this before, while setting the stage for events that will ultimately decide the fate of all of Middle-earth. Gollum has pretty much traveled everywhere. He's also pretty much met everyone. And by looking at events from his angle, players will experience Middle-earth through the eyes and twisted mind of one of the most iconic characters of all time. All of that in our very own artistic style. From his time in the slave pits of the Dark Tower to his stay with the elves of Mirkwood, Gollum will creep, sneak, and trick his way past faithful, detailed environments, some of which have never been seen before in such detail. The Lord of the Rings Gollum is a cinematic stealth action adventure it mixes stealth and parkour gameplay and really Frog. leverages the Dalek's expertise in crafting engaging stories. Gollum is no traditional hero. He's learned not to take any sides other than his own, and some of the most powerful beings in Middle-earth want him either captive or dead. In the game, you will meet some iconic characters, but also interesting personalities less known to players, but nonetheless essential to the events unfolding. We've been highly faithful to the descriptions in the books, depicting, for instance, the Moth of Sauron, the Lieutenant of Barad-dûr, who is constantly scheming on behalf of his Dark Lord. In the game, we will see his face for the first time, but also Thranduil, King of the Elves of Mirkwood. These character Fallen models don't look that bad. There are definitely, Gandalf, but they're also not animated or anything. They're just in A poses. Working on this amazing project, and we can't wait to show you more. Stay tuned on social media. At Gollum game. Okay, so let's step again forward. The Untold Story reveal trailer. We haven't gotten to see a whole lot of the gameplay yet, and I know that it does arrive soon in the marketing material. Need to beat that dude over the head with a rock. Oxes, 
wow, that was just very conveniently there. Oh, was that it? Man, I forgot how little they showed for the longest time. Okay, finally getting to the gameplay reveal trailer. So this is from July 7th of 2022. Something calls us. Gollum. What is it, precious? The precious, of course. The precious. We want it. We want it. Man, hit like Gollum's model is probably one of the most rough looking in the game, at least at this point. There's a you know, little short amount like 10 months worth of development between now and between this trailer and now, but at the same time, like it looks so rough in so many ways. Like that foliage looks strange. And what's sad though is there's definitely parts and moments where it does look good and then you like look at Gollum's hair and you're like, man, I know he's supposed to be like patchy, but that just looks like you taped seaweed to his head, but like not actual seaweed either. Cause like you could, you could describe somebody's hair as like, you know, giving off like a, a essence of seaweed or something like that. This is a story trailer from March 9th of 2023. Game in development does not represent final quality. They know it looks bad. a little better see those shots right there of like the elven area those shots look really really good some of these environments look pretty decent and then you get a close-up of like some of the character models and they look significantly they look almost out of place But man, environmental artists were slaying. Yeah, but the character artists were struggling and nobody, either nobody asked for help or nobody offered it. See, and here's the thing. There's also a, a disconnect between the environment artists that we see for like these overview shots. And then when we actually see Gollum moving through the environments, right? that was supposed to mean something okay and then we have the rtx trailer okay and then after this trailer one this is the last trailer we have and we'll talk about a couple of things concerning this game and it concerns rtx so this is meant to show off the game at its peak settings essentially everything cranked up to maximum everything uh, ray tracing on make everything look as good as the game possibly can. Look at me. Look into the flame. Although perhaps he does not. I do like the environments, though. I like the environments a lot.
so here's the problem, okay? Here's the problem. It is not shown on any of these trailers, but this is supposed to be the game at peak settings, right? Colum looks so not good enough here, right? Like he's got the he, like it's it's like I I don't I don't know enough about game design and game development to know what elements is missing, whether it's like some subsurface scattering or just the general texture work of his model. But he stands out in such a weird way. And you see it even here when they push open this door. Look at this character on the right. I realize it's a little hard. And I can I can make it a little bit easier. Hang on. I know how I can make it easier for everyone to see. So if I go like this, go like this, go like this. Reopen this trailer. Make this trailer shut up. Go to 4K. And then come over here to where they throw that door open. And I'll get you a better look at it. Because here I can take a screenshot and then show in folder, open, bam. And then I can zoom in on this one. Now it's going to pixelate a little bit because I'm zooming in on a, a on a screenshot from a YouTube video. Mind you, the video was in 4K. So it still should hold, like, it should hold a decent amount of its quality even after being compressed by YouTube. But, like, look at this fucking character, y'all. Like, now... <laughs> <laughs> now it's it's one thing for models and stuff to not look good in games nobody looks good when you pause them it's like they're photoshopped in here's the problem though it's okay for something to not look perfect right that's not the problem but the recommended pc specs for Lord of the Rings Gollum have came out, okay, of like what you would need to run this game. And this RTX trailer that we just got done watching, it is meant to showcase the game at its absolute peak. Everything cranked up to maximum, ray tracing on. And on the recommended spec sheet for this, if you want to run the game the way that they just showed you, okay, the way that, the, like, like, like this, if you want the game to run and look like this, at 4K, 60 FPS, you need a freaking 4090. And that's with DLSS enabled. So that means to get 4K resolution, 60 FPS, utilizing essentially a, a cheat to make it not actually native 4K as a way to brute force it a little bit higher to a smoother 60 frame rate of 60 FPS, you need a $1,500 plus graphics card. You need the cutting edge, the newest graphics card that they have, the highest end, just in order to get to 4K 60 FPS with super sampling on. It's not even native 4K. Now, like native 4K is difficult, but the fact that they're like, you need to use this utility tool to make it trick you into believing it's 4K when it's not actually 4K and we're going to super sample frames in between. <sighs> Steam says 4070 recommended. That's probably, yeah, you're probably right. But I'm speaking specifically for uh, 4K. I bet the recommended specs are not to hit 4K. Um, they should be in here somewhere. Yeah, recommended 4070 with DLSS settings, but this, and that is at high preset at 1440p, so not at 4K. So that would be basically to run it on, on the computer that we have for the screen that we have, we would need, instead of the 3070 Ti that we have, we would need a 4070. 32 fucking gigabytes of RAM. Holy shit, dog. That is insane. That is absolutely not so. Like, it would be one thing if this game looked out of this world, unbelievable. Nothing even came close to it, right? Like, if it was just like just mind-blowingly beautiful and gorgeous, I'd be like, you know what? Fine. Fine. But it doesn't. It doesn't look that good. And for it to have that aggressive of system requirements, like what were the minimum requirements on that? The, the minimum requirements is a 3060 
and the game looks like ass. The game is ready to put it, put it, what? This game is ready to put us into the game with those specs. It, 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 it's sad. It's absolutely sad. And what it is, is that like, I'm guessing the game just is is completely crap ass on the back end, and they couldn't figure out a way to optimize it. The game has been in probably some form of development hell for a really long time, and they just needed to get it out the door. And But these system requirements and system specs is unacceptable for a game that looks like this. You are asking for the... For modern hardware that released in the last few months in order to play a game that looks this bad it's a shame because the concept of it is cool right and it looks like it even actually has the potential to be a decent game but i don't know how when you are wanting a 3060 they are wanting a 3060 to run this game at 1080p medium settings how the fuck does this game run even on a playstation 5 or an xbox series x and it's not fucking running on an xbox series s it's not on xbox okay it's only on playstation oh wait no it might be uh that's also a playstation no it is on xbox series x and s you're expecting this shit to run on playstation 4 and xbox one no way no way i don't understand it it must look atrocious. It, it does it still say that it's releasing on those platforms, or did they give up on those? No, it still says PlayStation Four and Xbox One. No, 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 no. You're trying to tell me that this needs a 3060 or a 4070, and you're going to get it to run on a PlayStation 4? I call BS. Maybe if it's 10 frames per second. Woo! All right. Well, I mean, we'll know soon enough. This game releases on the 25th, so it's going to be out real soon. 25th? Is it the 25th? What day is it? Yeah, it's 25th. <sighs> PS4 is going to be hurting like me trying to run a marathon. Man, it's going to, it, oh, mm -mm. no, 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 no. Tragic. Anyway, so yeah, that's Lord of the Rings Gollum. It looks even worse than I thought it did. That said, some of those environments though, the environment artists, uh, I'm sorry that you, your work went into this game. We can load the menu. <laughs> Check it out. I got the menu running at 22 FPS. Oh, get on my level, nerd. What do you got in there? Oh, I got 64 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, a freaking Ryzen 9 7900X, and a 4080. And I'm able to open the menu at 22 FPS. Yeah. Whew. Oh, no, you, you cannot get into character select. You're asking the game to load more than, like, two models at a time. Crashes immediately every time. So, yeah, that's Lord of the Rings gone. Let me know what your thoughts are. I'd love to hear from you. Put them down in the comments below. Uh, if you can't tell, I like to talk. I'd love to talk some more. If you want to talk with me in two great places to do so are Discord and Twitter. Uh, and let's hit me up. Let's have a conversation. I'm active on both those platforms. We've been having a conversation with chat because this video was recorded live on Twitch because we do stream on Twitch. And I would love to see you there. Gollum is two models. I, fun. I like it. I like it. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, come, come, come bother us on stream. It'll be a good time and you can look at garbage with us. That's not a good selling point, but regardless, anyway, if you like this video, please leave it a like. If you want to catch future videos, please, uh, subscribe to the channel. If you do watch one of the other videos on the channel, or if I see you in the live stream, thank you and enjoy. Thank <laughs> you.